this here is John Green's first book, Looking for Alaska, and it is m my favourite book of all time, my favourite piece of creation ever. The reason I love this book is quite simple. It literally changed my life. I read it first when I was around, I think, 12, 13, and I've read it seven times over since, and it is st st it still affects me every time I read it, even though I've read it so many times. To be more specific, what this book did, it was it put so many different things into perspective for me and gave me an inlook on so many different situ situations that life would throw at me at some point. So with this book, it was it showed me not what to do, but what not to do in those situations. And it acted sort of as a precautionary tale, sort of, of what not to do when life goes certain ways. And it, it's definitely very, uh, it's an emotional roller coaster. I, I'd say it definitely upset me, made me have it at some points. It's a... Uh, I genuinely read this if you have not read it before. It is the greatest book ever read. It's about a boy who starts going to a boarding school far away from where he lives and ends up with a crowd that is nothing like him, but he sticks with that crowd and stays with that crowd even though they're nothing like him. They don't do what he does, but he sticks to them and then he ends up getting so in that he can't get out and when con when the bad stuff starts happening, he's too deep to change and he, it happens and it affects him so sincerely and so deeply what happens in the end. Trust me, it's a great book, a heartbreaking book. John Green is one of the greatest writers and I a personal favourite thing, uh, sort of spoiler alert, but not really. Um, uh, There's a character in the book who is uh, this, uh, Pudge's, he's his um, religious teacher and throughout the book there are scenes of him giving uh, teachings on sort of Buddhist um, lessons and throughout the entirety of the uh, book such uh, lessons given in those um, less those lessons are used and shown through the actions of the main characters, and I really love that. Like there was one on connectivity and uh, what comes apart falls apart and such. And um, it's a great book with fabulous quotes. Um, one of my favourite quotes of all time: "We are more than our noble parts." Comes from this book. Also, um, if you like um, last words or you're sort of a bit morbid, definitely a good book for you as well. And if you're not willing to uh, commit to the book, if you don't like reading all that, there is a TV show of it, and yeah, the TV show is very good, but it is diff it's quite different from the book. Still very good, but different, and it will never be as good as the book was. I'm just putting that out there, so read it. You will thank me. It is amazing. It is one. It is the. I've read many books. I've read probably hundreds of books. See books there, books there. There are more books over there. And I've loved, I love so many books, but none of them come close to being anything near this. The only book that actually comes close is probably To Kill a Mockingbird, but it's still miles away from this one. It's that perfect balance between the times of being uplifting and happy and being absolutely soul-destroying and emotionally destructive. And it, you'll be reading it in one session, you'll go through 17 different emotions and feel completely destroyed by the end of it and ecstatic. It's crazy. This is a book that I definitely know will stick with me and has stuck with me uh, thus far. And it's definitely that kind of book. There are very few books that do that. And this is definitely one of them. And I don't think that usually a book that sticks with you is, uh, tends to be a personal thing. But I think this is to do with the book. It is just that type that sticks with you. So read it. So warning, don't forget to bring tissues. It's very sad. The fucking, the end, well the ending's not sad. Um, midway through the book, all my days. You've been warned. Read it. It's worth the emotional torment.